Welcome to the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today and our player of the game presented by Coca-Cola. Enjoy the Coke side of life. Teresa Grants, Lee, extremely strong inside. Uh, outstanding game again by Lexi Martin. She's very, very difficult to stop. She, Lexi is a, a terrific player. So is um, uh, 34, and they've got a nice game. They knew what they wanted to do. They did it well. And then when they didn't score inside, they were able to kick it, and their guards hit some key shots. Now, get to all that in. Like, we're we're coming. Things will change in the future. Trust me. Things. Will you change. have to love the attitude. There's no quit in this basketball team. They play as hard as. And as you mentioned, they're getting better every game. Well, and that's what you want. You know, it's February. We're still there. They're still with it. And that's what's important to me. It's not about the scoreboard. It's not about the wins and losses. It's about performance. It's about doing it right. And it's about doing it right the first time. Good luck as you go on the road for the next couple. Thank you very much. All right. I turn my attention to Sammy. And Sammy, I'm going to apologize to you. I probably should have had you on the game, the last game, when you had such a terrific finish in that ball game. But another good night for you as a sophomore. Uh, first of all, how's that shoulder? It's not bad. It's a lot better. So I can't ask for better. So. They obviously are putting a little bit more responsibility on your shoulders, running this offense and getting it going, and I'm sure uh, you are willing to accept that. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of people put pressure on Jamie O'Hare. I mean, she's great. She's a point guard, but I feel like she needs some help, and I'm there to help her out, so, yeah. Also, I thought tonight, again, you played very, very good defense. Uh, you really kind of bothered them a couple times. Uh, you got some foul calls that maybe you shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't always get it your way necessarily, and this game just wasn't my way. But what can I do? I just got to stay in there uh, mentally and just work through it. So. Well, let's hang in there and get ourselves a home game in the tournament. Thank you. <laughs> Sammy Stipp is our player of the game. John Leone will take us through the highlights. Thank you, Gary. Uh, great job with uh, Coach Grants and, of course, uh, Sammy Stipp. Uh, the highlights, Gary, when you look at them, my goodness, there were times when Lafayette showed real flashes in particular, freshman uh, Angela Riverich turning right, then turning left, doing a great job in the low post. Sammy Stippa, our Coca-Cola player of the game, knocking down a three, then she knocks down another three. I thought Lafayette showed as much consistency from beyond the arc this game as they have all year long. Thanks in large part to Anna Tuzinski, who hit four in the first half. I think Lafayette Lehigh made a, an adjustment at halftime. She didn't get as much room. But, man, that's a glimpse of what the sophomore can do. In the end, though, it was uh, all Lehigh all the time in the post. Lexi uh, Martin's doing a terrific job. And then when she wasn't going to work, it was that young lady from Allentown Central Catholic, Carrie Kinnick, uh, doing it on the inside, stepping back, hitting a three-pointer right there. How about her distributing the ball? Quincy Mann on a back cut. Beautiful basketball play. Then Quincy Mann pulling up for a mid-range jump shot. Lehigh was hitting on all cylinders today. There's Quincy Mann again. They got contributions from exactly uh, the players they needed uh, to get contributions from, Gary. Uh, it's tough to pick out anything Lafayette did terribly, just that Lehigh played very, very well. All right, let's uh, finish this one up. Lehigh's 80 points on 32 field goals. They had five triples, 11 for her 14 from the free throw line. Big pat on the back to Lexi Martins, her 20th double-double. 23 points, 10 rebounds. Kinnick with 13, and Quincy Mann with 19. Lehigh now 16 and 10, 9 and 6 overall. For Lafayette, 65 points on 20 field goals, 8 triples, 17 for 21 from the foul line. They had double-figure scoring out of Maya Hood with 10, Jamie O'Hare 14, Sammy Stippa 11, and Anna Tuzinski with a dozen. Maya Hood with seven rebounds in the ballgame. Lafayette, six and 19, four and 11 in the Patriot League as they will now go on the road and take on Bucknell on Wednesday night. That's it from Kirby Sports Center for John Leon, Rick Dio, the RCN television team. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>